Plastic road. Nowadays the Netherlands is showing us what roads will look like in the future. At the moment Plastic Road is a trial project, working in two cities Zuola and Geet Warn. In the latter half of 2018, 30-metre-long bicycle tracks were put into operation. Here they have two very important and interesting features. First of all they are made of modular elements. Secondly these elements are made of recycled plastics such as bottles, bags, caps, and other man-made ways. The Netherlands is an amazing country that recycles 51% of all waste produced. No wonder these roads appeared here, of course in the future the project will develop further. Each lane in the city is a swollen detourn, required an amount of plastic equivalent to 218,000 plastic cups, or 500,000 bottle caps. Another advantage of the design is the ease of installation. Experts say that modular road construction technology reduces construction time by 70%. Unfortunately there are also disadvantages. During the rain the road is quite slippery. Also if you ride the bike at high speed, the road grip is rather low. Specialists are looking for a way to improve the surface. When they do, they will also start developing motorways. Just imagine it will be possible to lake communications in the cavity, under the modules. For example to create heated roads, protect it against ice and instead of fixing. The whole road you can simply take out the damaged module and replace it with a new one. Uni lift. You are looking at equipment designed to simplify the work of people, building concrete slabs, pavement for decades. The main problem was that heavy slabs had to be moved manually from place to place. Over time such physically exhausting work results in bad back pain. Unilift is an equipment developed by Unit Lock. The machine uses a powerful suction pad to lift the paving stones, move them and then, place them in the right place. The road is paved by a single operator. The machine is so fast, that in a minute uni lift allows you to lay up to one square meter of fading stones. All the operator has to do is place the suction pads over the slab. And then press the lever. After that the device bears the entire weight of the products. The person can easily handle the lifting mechanism. Most of the work is done from a comfortable standing position. So you do not have to lean over, bearing a load in your hands. The maximum weight of the slab is 140 kilograms. The moving speed of the equipment is 3.5 kilometers per hour. NCC Spuma. Here's an innovative way to deal with weeds. NCC Spuma is a functional solution developed by the Swedish company NCC. The manufacturer claims that, it is the ideal tool to maintain sidewalks, roadsides, parking spaces and other overgrown surfaces. This method of controlling unwanted vegetation, consists of spraying hot water about 95 to 98 degrees Celsius on the weeds. The high temperature is maintained by an insulating foam, containing vegetable oil and cornstarch. It's noteworthy that these are eco-friendly components. High temperatures damage the cellular structure of weeds. The layer of foam on top intensifies this effect. Hot water also prevents the seeds from germinating. Thus the NCC spuma not only removes already germinated weeds, but also reduces the need for maintenance in the first year of use. He needs to perform the procedure three or four times in the following years. The number of treatments required is reduced to two or three. This is significantly less than with other weed removal methods.
paver laying machine. Here's another even simpler way to build roads, which implies minimal human involvement. The Chinese company Coin Fang produces this amazing equipment. This paver laying machine does most of the work on its own. Operators are only required to place the building material on the conveyor belt in time. In this case, it is road break. The equipment is ideal for the construction of bridges, sidewalks, garden paths, garden squares parks. It is noteworthy that the machine is able to lay paving stones in different ways. For example it can be a classic or a herringbone pattern. Which is chosen by the operator, before starting the work. Surprisingly in one shift, such equipment lays up to 400 to 500 square meters of paving stones. This is much more than with traditional construction methods. The machine is operated by three people. The working width varies from 2 to 4 point. DEVC electric cars are slowly but steadily conquering the automotive market. Today all the leading car companies have already started developing and producing them. Needless to say, it is necessary to provide drivers with the most comfortable driving conditions. The American company Qualcomm has made an important contribution to this field. Its specialists created the DEVC technology, which stands for Dynamic Electric Vehicle Charging. It allows you to recharge an electric car wirelessly on the go. The project has been in progress since 2014. For the first time it was decided to test it in France near Paris. A 100 meter long test track was laid there. The main advantage of the technology is that the electricity is obtained not from one particular section of the road. But as you move along the track to make this possible. Special panels are installed on the road surface, remarkably at the trial stage. The road can recharge two cars simultaneously. The project cost about 9 million euros. In the future these automatic charging systems will not only take the use of electric cars to a new level, but will also expand the range of use of unmanned vehicles. Ultra Crete Instant Road Repair. If you've ever seen a road repair process, you know that workers have to use bulky complex machines. But this is an asphalt pavement repair equipment that does not have this disadvantage. Ultra Create Instant Road Repair is the material especially developed for filling holes and crevices in the road surface. It is sold in bags and containers. The materials spread over a pre cleaned road defect and then compacted. If the damage minor, a hand tool is used for this purpose. If you need to process the larger surface, then you should use special equipment. Immediately after that the road can be used no other operations are required. By the way, work can be carried out immediately after rain. On a wet road this means that the weather conditions do not affect the quality of the resulting patch. <laughs> 